Welcome back to the Mods YouTube channel. My name is Michael. I'm our Public Programs Manager. And today we're going to learn about polymers. Welcome back to the museum. I'm Michael. I'm here with one of our educators, Brady. Today we're going to be talking about polymers. So Brady, I see a lot of chemicals and stuff here. Actually, I haven't had a drink all day, so I'm just going to quickly, if you don't oh, mind. Oh, well, yep. careful. This oh. is actually a urine sample from one of our animals Ooh, that's here. Disgusting. So I wouldn't take okay. a, a good swig of that. Thanks, just appreciate yet. it. Well, before we get to this one, I see that you have some things over here. But if we're going to talk about polymers, I guess, what is a polymer? So a polymer is a series of molecules that are stretched together that are basically the same thing repeated over and over again. And that can be found in nature, such as like tree sap or our hair or fingernails, things like that are polymers, uh, but have been uh, replicated uh, for general more synthetic use, like this rubber ball or this plastic cup. Just generally the things that are tied together that are the th same thing, just repeating over and over again, bubble gum even is a polymer, uh, slime as we saw maybe in another video is another kind of polymer. Okay, awesome. So I think here um, in front of us, we're, we're gonna do two different experiments and it seems this one's just water, mm -hmm. right? Into some, some kind of a substance over here. So um, do we wanna go ahead and see what's gonna happen here? Yeah, so each of these beakers, we have a, a different white powder and they're gonna react in different ways to the liquid here. I mean, you can see they're just shaking it up. It's just a, a white powder. It looks like flour or salt or sugar that you would find in your cabinet at home, but it's not. It's something a little different than that. <laughs> so um, why don't you explain what we're gonna do here for this experiment? So I have these two just white powdered substances here. Uh, look like salt or sugar or flour or something that would be in your cabinet, but they're not, right? There's a different chemistry behind this. Uh, this one right here is called polysnow. And so it's gonna react in a certain way, a little different than this one, but we're gonna mix it with water and just see how this creates a, a polymer. You'll see how it, uh, how it reacts and comes together in a different chain reaction. So I'm gonna pour a little bit of water here. And before I do, let's just take a second to just kind of Hypothesize, I haven't given you a lot of information to go off of, but just kind of what do you, what would you expect to happen? Maybe what, maybe you've poured some sugar in your water or something like that, maybe something that looks like this and had some experience there and just kind of hypothesize what might happen once I pour the water in this beaker. I, I think it's gonna change color. That's just change me, color? I'm just okay. taking a wild shot in the dark here. Yeah, I mean that might, maybe it's gonna change the color of that okay. or something and maybe that's why I had it set up that way. So let's try it here. I'm gonna pour a little bit of water in here and see what happens. Whoa, it's expanding. Yeah. That just got a lot bigger than what it was. Yeah, so once these, once this substance is hydrated, it expands out and just kind of inflates out almost like it becomes this puffy snow type substance, right? Wow, that's and so And so cool. now it's, it's dry, powdery, even though I just poured water in it. So there's no, wait, hold on. Doesn't feel that oh, wet to me. No, there's no water in there. So it all absorbed or was absorbed into the powder? Yeah, so it absorbed all the water and it took that, the reaction that it had is that it expanded the polymer. And so now it expanded from about just a little bit of powder on the bottom to half of this beaker being filled. So if I wanted to, I could just add more water to this? If I... I mean, you could. And it'll just continue to... Oh, look at that, it just keeps on going. Yeah, to a certain point. Uh, obviously, at some point, it'll become a little saturated once you've expanded all those uh, polymer molecules. Uh, but uh, okay. to a certain point, it'll keep expanding. So I got, I got, I got to ask this question. We're going to, let's, mm -hmm. let's move this one out of our way. So I got a weird one. Yeah. But I see there's a diaper here. Yeah. What's with the diaper? So the substance in the other cup here, this white powder, is actually, it's something called- I assume you need that. Yeah, I'm gonna need this for this next experiment. Okay. This substance is called sodium polyacrylate. Sodium poly what? Sodium polyacrylate. Is there like an easier way to say that or? An easier way to say that is diaper powder because this is the substance that you can find inside of a diaper. You mean like the cotton, right? Not the cotton, but if you rip this open, you can find this powder type substance in here. Inside of a diaper there's powder, huh? Yeah, inside of the diaper is this kind of fluffy type substance here, and it's made out of this polymer, this sodium polyacrylate. Oh, okay. And this and was the result of years of engineering by NASA scientists for astronauts to use. So wait, NASA created the science behind diapers? That's right. Oh, so I, 
do astronauts wear diapers? Astronauts wear diapers, oh, yes. Okay. Because, not because there are necessarily no bathrooms in space, but again, there is no gravity in space. So if you have uh, some kind of liquid you want to keep into one spot, we're going to see how that works with this diaper powder here. Okay. Right? So I'm going to pour a little bit of our sample uh, into our diaper powder. I wonder what's going to happen here. Okay, now what? So as you can see, that little bit of powder absorbed the water and is now a solid. Whoa! It's not even falling out. It's not even falling out. So just like the other one took the water in, absorbed it, and expanded, this one took the water in, absorbed it, and compacted together into this tight solid type. So thing. it can't move or at, at all. So my, I got a weird one. Yeah. Can I get the water out of that? Not that I really want the water out of it, but is there a way to pull the water out of there? You can try. And how would I try that? We can try with some salt. Okay. Which might dehydrate our polymer here. So let's see. Well, I think, right, so anytime you eat like a salty bag of potato chips, if you think about it, what's the first thing you want after that? Probably a glass of water. So if we, if we add the salt here, I'm going to assume the same thing. Can I, is it safe to touch this? Uh, you can touch it. I just would keep your fingers out of like your mouth or your eyes or anywhere that, where there is uh, some kind of fluid. Because again, this absorbs fluids, right? So it might just irritate you a little bit. And okay. so you can see just by uh, having this, uh, technology out would be helpful for both oh. astronauts or... So, okay, I can feel the water starting to... Yeah, so it's getting a little squishy yep. and a little more wet now there just from goes. the reaction it, of the salt yep. uh, just kind of separating okay. it in the same way that like snow would melt. That's awesome. So if I wanted to just take a dirty diaper and pour salt, I'll, no, I wouldn't do that. Don't do that, please. That's probably not, not the best idea. <laughs> probably not. So awesome. Well, thank you, Brady, so much for that. I think we've had a great, some great examples of polymers here and... We'll see everybody next time. If you enjoyed what you saw today, make sure you give us a like and drop a subscribe below.